right, guys, so today we are covering the FAMAS and my just overall thoughts of this gun for the medium, and let's dive into it. So the FAMAS is a burst weapon for the medium. I think it's the only burst weapon, and it's actually really good up close, surprisingly. Um, I It definitely feels like up close is where it flourishes, where it probably does some of the most damage outputting and I would, s and it, it feels that way up close. It has a decent drop off and I think also the drop off on this also gets, feels even more so due to it being a burst weapon. So one, you get the drop off of a little bit of damage, but on top of that, you also have that recoil of a three round burst weapon. And I think that's kind of where at longer ranges it can feel probably the most plinky-ish for the medium. But outside of that, like it's it's a pretty good solid weapon. And when they added this into season two, I think a lot of people really enjoyed using this gun. But the downside though, both for the AK and the SCAR, both those guns flourish the medium to long range. And that's not where this gun truly flourishes and it definitely can feel like you can't finish your target now kind of diving into that recoil it has a really solid up recoil pattern and both on hip fire both on crouched and non-crouched very good solid hip fire it's not all over the place very controllable it's an actual really solid choice if you want to hit fire this up close on the movement side for the hip fire it, it's a little more sporadic but for out of all the medium's guns, I think this is probably one of the best hit firing guns the medium offers uh, for an AR platform. And so kind of diving into that damage profile, it, it does fall in line with the other guns. It might not be as good as some of the other ones, but I mean, you can take out pretty much any of the classes with, you know, a heavy, you could finish with two mags if you're landing your shots, I think. And so it, it's, it's a good choice, you know, diving into my gunplay. I think there's one case where I get like a little freaked out a little bit and I'm shooting and shooting. And it doesn't feel like I'm finishing. I think that's the only case in my gameplay in which I would just, it didn't feel like this gun was able to do a, a finish. Um, but outside of that, like it's, it's a really good choice. I would recommend giving it a try. If you're not a fan of the other ARs and still want to use an AR and, or maybe, you know, they can maybe like the old Call of Duty days of the M16 three-round burst. You know, it kind of falls into that a little bit. And, you know, it's, it's 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 a fun gun. And it can dish out a ton of damage in that more close to almost getting to the medium range. And so that's just kind of my overall thoughts of this gun. You know, it's, it's not a top-tier contender, but... It does kind of mix up things. It's a, another weapon out there to utilize if you want to mix things up. But I think it's kind of a mid-tier gun. But go, you know, go have some fun with it. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments. Like, where, where does this gun sit? Do you guys like using this gun? Do you think, it, you know, other guns have a lot more utility and a little more fun? And might as well stick with, you know, maybe like the grenade launcher or something like that. Or maybe the shotgun. And then stick with ARs. And this one's just the bottom of the AR pattern pole, you know? But totem pole whatever <laughs> so just let me know you guys have a good one and i'll catch you guys out in the finals